Hey guys, Mark Sagan here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we are going to be taking a look at the other previous April Fool's unit that has gotten their EZA with this year's celebration and that is of course the STR Great Saiyaman and Videl. They were the free card that was given out last year during the Dokkan of the Dead event. Um, these guys, I'm trying to remember back to when they originally came out. Um, what my original thoughts on them were because I seem to remember thinking that they were somewhat of a decent free-to-play unit even though they are kind of really only good on one team right they are a defenders of justice support unit which is a team that if you consider just the like Videl lead um, that team didn't really get a huge amount of buffs that were super good for her but in the meantime we have had the release of both of the Gammas who are on that team uh, the Gammas obviously both lead uh, movie heroes and then AGL uh, Gamma 2 leads movie heroes and special pose. So we have built a team that is basically a full Defenders of Justice team that all comes under his leader skill. So these guys have their own Defenders of Justice leader skill for 77%. Uh, they also, their super attack is greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, which is a good super attack effect to have. Supreme damage and lowers extreme class enemies attack and defense. Um, it doesn't say the number on here, but according to the wiki, uh, the pop-up is apparently not coming up, so I actually can't even tell. Uh, where is it? 20% for three turns. Interesting. So, obviously, some events you can still do that, so it's quite useful. Um, and then they get attack and defense 158%. Uh, they get an additional attack and defense 58% when performing a super, additional attack and defense 58% when attacking extreme class enemies. So they get a pretty big buff on attack if you're attacking extreme because they get both of those buffs. Chance of performing a crit and chance to dodge, 4% per, uh, um, plus an additional attack and defense 10% per Defenders of Justice ally on the team. So because we have a full team, that's what, 70% attack and defense extra, as well as, what, 28% chance to dodge and crit, which is pretty good. Uh, and then they give Defenders of Justice allies three key, attack and defense and chance to crit 18%. The attack and defense not super high for a support unit, but 18% chance to crit is definitely a pretty good support option for allies. And since this unit already had an awakening before this celebration, I did already link level them. So they are full link level 10. So start of turn, they're at 223k defense. They are getting quite a bit of support on this turn, but they're getting over 100% extra on super attack. So they get significantly stronger once they do actually attack. So we'll go ahead and do this. Um, the only downside to this unit is the links around them, or sorry, the units around them that activate their links are obviously not going to be the best. But, I mean, 5.8, we're basically at a 6 million attack for their first attack here. And then, yeah, the additional takes them to 6.3. I mean, for a free-to-play unit that you could run on this team basically just to be a support unit for the Gammas, um, that's pretty good. Double digit damage from the type advantage super. Uh, we take those. So the only downside, like I say, is their links, right? They share six links with the tech free to play, like Sayaman and Videl. Um, obviously not the best unit. The LR Sayaman 1 and 2, who we've got on the team, they're still okay for support and decent enough, I guess, against some extreme enemies, but they're not going to be the best against the hardest like bosses in the game. They share five links. Uh, the STR Great Saiyaman 4, the free-to-play heroes unit, um, does have five links with them as well. And he is a support unit, right? So he's going to be pretty good um, as a rotation partner for them. Um, so grab these. We've got a lot of defense with Gamma 2 here in slot 1. So I'm going to leave him in slot 1, let him get this extra attack off. Now, speaking of the Gammas, let me scroll down the list here. They do share three links with the Gammas. Shocking Speed... Hero of Justice and Signature Pose. Hero of Justice is definitely one of their better links, right? 25% attack as well as a 5% chance to crit. So with all the crit chance that they get, not just from their passive, but the support as well. Um, I don't know. I'll have to rebuild them, I guess. I don't know what I gave them originally, but these are definitely a unit that you want to go uh, full additional because they have so much ability to crit built into their kit now. So additional and dodge probably is just the way to go. Um, so let's see. Do you get any extra links if we put you in the middle? Yeah, you pick up Courage from this guy. So 223k. So they are going to have very high defense post-super. So let's go ahead and put them in the middle here. 
Uh, a little bit worried about Great Saiyan Man 4 potentially taking the super at the end, but we should be okay. So we'll see what they get because they're getting a, such a huge amount on super attack that their defense is going to be pretty solid. Backed up with, on this team, they have a 28% chance to dodge already built in. Um, so yeah, I feel like these guys could be pretty good. It's just the fact that they really want to be run on this full Defenders of Justice team, which isn't the best, right? Even if you're running like a Gamma's lead team, are you really going to be building your team to be fully Defenders of Justice just so that this one like free-to-play support unit is going to do well on that team? Probably not. Um, now, they do still get significant buffs if you have a couple of Defenders of Justice allies, and obviously both the Gammas that you're running as the lead, and then assumingly you're going to be running the other one as well. So that's already three allies you're going to have on the team, which is going to give them, what, 30% extra attack and defense, and then 12% chance to crit and chance to dodge, which isn't too crazy, but is obviously still very, very effective. So these guys definitely seem like they could be decent. I remember when the data download dropped and all the details got posted for their translations, um, people were straight off the bat fairly impressed with the Bulma. Uh, the Goku ones came out a little bit later, the Super Saiyan Goku who we've already done the video for. Uh, people seem to like the look of him from his kit and from the video we can see that he's pretty good. But when the details for these guys dropped, I saw people saying that they were straight up like terrible. Um, and I guess I can kind of see that if you're not building the team specifically around them, which... Like I said, are you really going to do that on some of these more optimal teams? But in this showcase setting where we've built the team specifically for them to look good, then obviously they do look pretty good. Um, so let's see. I guess we could put them in slot one since they're not going to have... They don't really get much more defense than Saiyaman 1, uh, the LR Saiyaman 1 and 2 here. So let's do this. Uh, grab these for you and then grab this. Just going to miss out on the Dokkan attack, which is unfortunate. Um, there's the dodge. Because, yeah, having that extra dodge, I think, like I say, they have so much crit chance in their passive. Just go full additional and dodge for them. Um, and then as a support unit for this team, they could definitely be pretty good. Like, I can imagine at some point we're going to see uh, an easy A for the physical Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. He's a unit that I've been waiting to see get an easy A for quite some time. That could definitely be pretty good. Um, even, you know, maybe one day a Dokkan Fest Saiyan Man, whether it is the actual, um, you know, full disguise one. I think that one from him going Super Saiyan at the World Tournament, uh, when Videl's getting beaten down by Swapovich, I think that could be a unit worthy of a Dokkan Fest, I don't know. But, <laughs> apparently Gamma 2 just gonna eat a super attack at the end here from, uh, this Shenron. Lo love to see that, but... I think we can probably wrap it up there, to be honest. Um, these guys, very solid looking on this team. Uh, they don't have any kind of stacking, so we're not going to see any higher stats from them or anything. Um, probably would have let the showcase go a little bit longer if we didn't get absolutely destroyed in the final slot there. Gamma 2's weakness, whilst his offense can be pretty insane, if you're not getting off a ton of supers um, and then you get hit by a super then obviously it's not going to be the greatest as we can see there. But I think these guys could be pretty decent. They just need some more support around them. Um, like the Great Saiyan Man 3 links up well with them, but he's a unit that is tied to being run with like time travelers. So I don't know if I could even really build a really good team for him to be on with these guys. But I mean, the rotation of him and Great Saiyan Man 4 with these guys in slot 3 to give support would be really good. Um, unfortunately, Great Saiyan Man 3 for some reason, I guess, I don't know, Trunks maybe doesn't like to uh, like to be involved in all that, but he's the only Saiyan Man unit, I think, that isn't on special pose, so we can't actually run him on the AGL Gamma team anyway. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on STR, Saiyan Man, and Videl down below in the comment section. I definitely don't think they're as bad as people were making out when their details first came out, but I think that's... Uh, the issue is, like I said, in this scenario, we kind of built the team around them to make them look good, which you're probably not going to do in the majority of situations. Um, and, you know, that's uh, 
going to be an issue. I mean, they're on teams like Bond of Parent and Child, Warriors Raised on Earth, Movie Heroes, but on the optimal versions of those teams, not a huge amount of those units are on the Defenders of Justice category. So a little bit unfortunate, but they definitely can be good in the right situation. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.